Hi, this is Ebony and X from The Candid Frame. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cropping. Um, cropping can be a real important tool in terms of improving your compositions in your photographs. Though we've all come to learn that we want to use the rule of thirds sometimes when we're composing our images in camera, that doesn't mean that there aren't additional steps that we can take in order to refine the look of the final shot once we get it into our photo editing application. I grew up kind of old school, and, and as a result, I used to use film and make my own prints. And one of the things I'd like to do was file my negative carrier so I would get this black border around the edges of the frame. And because I liked that look, it really forced me to try to be as careful as I could be when it came time to compose my photographs. Because if I wanted that edge border, I would have to use the entire frame of that, of that negative. But now with digital, I can actually add that border after, after the fact. So I don't have to adhere to that sort of rigid sense of composition, though I still try to make as tight and clean a composition as I possibly can in, in camera. But nevertheless, I always find that there's always some minor adjustment that I can make in my image once I bring it into my software to improve the overall balance of all those different elements in the frame, hence the, the composition. And I have this image here of this door. And what I liked about the shot was the way the light was falling on the door, and particularly the doorknob, which was relegated largely to shadow. And it creates this nice contrast between the shape and the color of the doorknob and the shadows and the rest of the door. But I, I could see that it, it needed a little help with composition. Just to my naked eye, I felt like it was just it, there was still some room for improvement. So what I wanted to do was go to the crop tool. And you'll find the crop tool located right here in your develop module. And one of the first things I wanted to correct for, even before I did anything else, was the fact that I didn't hold the camera completely straight. And so I wanted to make a minor correction for it. So what I can do here is I can actually use the scrubby slider to sort of adjust my overall composition. I'm sort of eyeballing some of the lines that exist within the frame here to try and improve it just a tad, and I think that, that gets it there. Um, there is some distortion here on the lens, so let me see if lens correction will help me a little bit here. Uh, so I'm going to go to profile, lens correction. I was using a 50 millimeter. So sometimes you'll find that certain lenses will create some barrel distortion or some uh, other sort of curvature distortion, and you'll often want to correct that. On a 50 millimeter, uh, it's it's pretty negligible, but I still wanted to use that profile nevertheless, just to you know eliminate any possibilities that the design of the lens and its the way it performs was impacting these these lines. So I've made that that correction there, and as you can see, it's it's pretty minimal. Now. I want to improve the composition, and I could, if I look at the rule of thirds, I pretty much composed this shot using that. So you can see on this, on on these on this line here, it's on that third, about that third point, which is uh, created here. So I'm I'm still improving it, but you know, part of part of me might think, well, if I can get that doorknob right where these two lines are converging, maybe I can make the image better, and. I'll show you why that won't work. Because if I do that, I'll end up having to lose a good percentage of my image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my shift key in order to maintain the same proportions of as my original frame. And then I'll grab the corner and then I'm going to start bringing this in, trying to get that doorknob right at that third point. And about right there, I get it almost exactly in that area. So now that doorknob is right at that point where it's what I call the power point, so those two lines converge. But you can see how much of the image I ended up losing as a result of trying to crop the vision, trying to crop the image using that very strict application of the rule of thirds. I don't think I want to crop the image that tightly. It still might be a good shot and I might consider it later, but you know, do I really want to lose that much of the frame? And so I was thinking, what other tools do I have with me that would allow me to improve the composition of this image? And that's what I kind of want to show you here. And we'll just go back to the, the, original, the original crop for the image. And you could always just go back to reset, but that will also set my um, the angle of proportions, which I'm going to have to go back to and 
correct for right here. So here's an overlay that refers to the golden ratio, which is basically a mathematical formula that has helped artists, uh, painters, photographers for hundreds and thousands of years improve their composition. And it's sort of a, a mathematical formula that really sort of optimizes the relationships of different elements within a, a frame in this particular case. I'm not a mathematician, so uh, if you want to have a more extensive explanation in terms of um, this principle, just Google it and it will tell you more than, than you probably want to know about it. But for this intents and purposes, I'm going to just use it as a guide to improve the overall composition. So you saw before how I tried to use the rule of thirds in order to improve the image and lost so much in the frame. So now I'm going to again hit my shift key and I'm going to adjust my framing and my resulting crop so that I can sort of position the image so that that cycle of that little sort of swirl ends up being right there. So I'm going to go here and uh, I hate when it does that. I have to go back to the crop tool. If I go outside of that window there, I have to be, I have to take very careful attention to what the indicator is because if I hit outside of there, what it'll do is it'll take me out of the crop tool. So again, I'm going to hit the shift key and then drag it in slightly. And that about does it. So now I can just double click on it and there's my composition so I'll compare it to the original image and I'll just go to the previous shot and then I'll hit the C key so I can get the comparison so on the left you'll see the original image let me hit my tab key so I can just end up showing you just the images on the screen here so here's the original image and then here's the one with the crop so I've eliminated a lot of this area here and some of the area on the top, but I think that this becomes a much more effective composition just by following that overlay, which allowed me to sort of refine the crop and make it a tighter, and it just feels a lot more balanced. Um, that other one that I showed you with the rule of thirds, that works as well, but because I'm cropping so much of the image, that might be a concern for me. Um, I'm using a Mark uh, 5D Mark III, 24 megapixel camera, so I could actually crop, you know, half of that image and still produce a, a photograph that I could make a reasonable print uh, enlargement from. But I, I try to keep such heavy cropping to to a minimum, and I find that instead, by using these various different overlays, I can sometimes refine my crop and make it just much a much more balanced and a much more effective composition and i find that if you'll cycle through all the different overlays that are available to you uh within lightroom and i'm always hitting the wrong key at the wrong time excuse me here so when you're in the develop module and you're hitting the you know the the, the crop key and you're really trying to figure out how much better you can improve your compositions just just start hitting the o key and just start cycling through these different overlays to see whether or not any of them will really help you to sort of improve the composition because especially if you're learning and you're you're, you're you're you know discovering how to make the best composition possible simply adhering to the rule of thirds is not always going to be the best solution and uh, this really provides you a really good way of being able to strengthen your photographs and making them a lot more effective without just having to eyeball it so, hope that's helpful. If you like what you're seeing with these videos, please um, subscribe, share it with your friends on your blog, on Facebook, on Google+, wherever you congregate. And uh, if you haven't listened to The Candid Frame, please do so. You'll find us at thecandidframe.com, where we have uh, a wealth of different interviews from both emerging and established photographers. So, till next time, this is Ibarian X for The Candid Frame.